And well, if you noticed a little bit of extra hollering in Mammoth Cave this weekend, you were probably hearing what people called a redneck rave. WBKO news reporter Sarah Phipps was able to travel out to the Blue Holler Off-Road Park and got the rundown on the rednecks. It was several days of mud, music, and mayhem as the Redneck Rave made its home at the Blue Holler Off-Road Park. Started in a cornfield uh, about seven years ago. I had no idea what I was doing, and uh, a buddy said I should, I should do this mud bog stuff. I had no idea what it was. And yeah, and it turned out to be, now we go, 1,700 acres. While some may view redneck as a derogatory term, the rave works to show the other side of the culture, combined with the fun of free concerts and off-road vehicles. We don't see it in a bad way. Redneck, you know, it's your country folk, your people that hang out and they do, may do things a little bit different than your city folks, you know. If you break down on the trail, the first person that comes by is willing to pull you out, give you a ride up to the front, give you parts off of their side by side. It's just everybody helps one another. And it's just one big giant family. Though the rave has garnered some infamy with 18 charges ranging from drug possession to providing alcohol to minors at last year's rave, attendee Pam Schaefer says it's evolving past that. Now, I've been here coming for like over a year to the different raids and stuff and I've never seen anything real bad happen, you know, and it's a lot of family, a lot of friends that are like family. They're hanging out and just doing their thing. And Redneck Rave organizer and owner Justin, Justin Time Stowers, says he understands the scene may not be for everyone and that he appreciates the community support. I'm sure there's some neighbors that it might not be their cup of tea, but at the end of the day, we're just coming here to have fun and, and party, man. So if you guys see this out there and you guys want to have a little fun, you know where to go. Stowers says his next goal for the rave is to make it mobile, partying at different race parties parks across the state. Reporting in Edmondson County, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News. And for more information on the Redneck Rave, including when the next rave might be coming closest to you, you can visit their Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Redneck Rave.